Hello, and welcome to the Change Gang Podcast with me, your host, Laura Ordeal. I'm here to help you hold on to your sanity and your soul as you move through big change in your life. I'm here to guide you, inform you, and hopefully help you to triumph over trauma and the long list of symptoms that come along with it. This podcast series is to bring knowledge, share stories, and open up conversation around hope for those of you that suffer with the difficulties that present themselves in your life from diagnosed or undiagnosed trauma. Labeled or not, I know you need help, and so do those that have graciously taken the time to have these conversations with me. So let's get to it. Welcome to the week, Change Gang. I hope that it is a beautiful one ahead for you. And if you've got a lot going on, I hope that you have someone walking through that with you. Hang in there and know that you are not alone. Today, I want to make sure that we talk a little bit about sometimes thinking we're healed, we're good, we're over that and actually not being over it, not being healed. And I thought about this because I heard someone say something really specific the other day, and it I had this flashback in my own mind to saying the exact same thing. And realizing now that at the time, I thought I was fine. I wasn't, but... I believe that this person also at that time thinks that they're fine. They're okay. They don't, they don't, they've dealt with that. And that's what it was. It was, I have dealt with that. They're struggling with some things. They're dealing with some things. And when, you know, another subject came up, it was like, well, I've dealt with that. Let's move on. They didn't want to talk about it. They just wanted to move beyond it. That's not going to work. That just doesn't. And I know that maybe you have dealt with some things. You have done that. Uh, Saying, I'm over it. I never think about that anymore. Maybe you don't. But maybe there's something inside you that does. Maybe there's some part of you that is reacting to that. Because there's some part of you that has not dealt with it. Is not over it. And needs help. And here are a couple other phrases. I'm going to run through them. So that you have an idea. If you've ever heard yourself or someone else say these, (laughs) pay attention. Pay attention and think about it a little bit. A couple other things are, you know, what happened to me wasn't that bad compared to others. A lot of people think that way. A lot of people think that way. That, oh my goodness, yeah, I went through some things, but oh goodness, it was not as bad as Jill over there or Joe over there was not as bad as what they've been through. So I don't get to complain. I don't get to be worried about it. I should just, you know, get on with life. Uh, Another one, another one. I've forgiven everyone involved, so I'm fine now. Okay. Sometimes forgiveness isn't healing. Sometimes forgiveness isn't something that's even directed at yourself. Maybe you have forgiven other people, but maybe you haven't forgiven yourself, even though you don't think you have anything to be forgiven for. There might be some part of you that's struggling. And of course, I'm fine now. (laughs) If, If you're really having to state some of these things when they come up, I would really think about maybe you're not so fine. Time heals all wounds. It's been years, so I must be okay, right? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. That does not mean you're okay. Time does help. Sometimes time is amazing, especially in instances of grief and a situation of loss, something like that. It absolutely, time helps. It doesn't always fully heal everything because we still miss the person. We still miss the puppy. We still have that part of us that isn't in the physical world right now. But time does not necessarily heal trauma. Let me just say that. 
If you have been through some things in your life, whether you realize it or not, there could be things that have been set aside and forgotten about, but they're still there. And that is like a little sliver underneath the skin. It's not healed. It's still there. And until it comes out, until it's taken care of, there will always be some little thing in there that's not supposed to be there and that can pop up and irritate things when you least expect it. All of a sudden, it might, your body might reject it, that little sliver, and go, nope, we're not dealing with this anymore. We're getting this out of here. And it pushes and festers and causes issues and pain and difficulty. And that's what happens when we have traumas going on in our life that we think maybe time has taken care of. It might not have. So if you're experiencing things in your life that are uncomfortable that you don't want, it might be time to have a look. And of course... Of course, this one is in there. I don't need any help. I don't need this. I don't need that. I can do this myself. I can get through this. I can get around this, over this, under this. I can get beyond it in some way by myself. There are people that do that. Yes. However, the majority of the time... And I will say that it's like 99.999999 way out there percent. So there's very few people that will just move beyond something. And I would say there's probably, if they have experienced a trauma, that maybe they, they did do some form of mind work, hypnosis work, parts work, something that did get them through it. They did deal with it, according to them. But they did it in a way that shifted things in the right way. Most of us don't manage that, honestly. We just don't. We think that we're dealing with something or we think that by shutting it out and putting it in the past or by forgiving or talking to someone about it or doing these things that we can move on and feel good and healthy and strong. Well, there's a part of you that is not going to allow that to happen. There's a part of you that's saying, nope, I am not fine. Not in the best terms of that word. It might be in the other terms of those word. Fracked up, insecure, neurotic, and whatever else comes with it. That version of the word. I, I don't remember right now what the E is. But there, most of the people out there. Most of you, just like me, have things in your life that are like those slivers that are sitting in there festering. And when somebody gets too close, it's an automatic response to keep them away, to push them away from it. That hurts. That's, that's, we're not going to go there. I'm fine. I buried that. It's gone. I don't deal with that anymore. I'm not that person. I don't deal with that in that way or whatever it is. I don't deal with those people anymore. They're not in my life. Great. Now it's time to go in and work with those little hurt versions of yourself. It's time to go in and get to the root and pull out those slivers. Pull out the root that has been growing inside of you for who knows how many years, causing weight gain or weight loss, causing anger issues, causing anxiety, causing you to not succeed in your career or your business in the way that you know that you can, causing all those things. And knowing that, gosh, you have done so much you have tried and you have done all of these things and yet these other things are still showing up in your life. That's your mind, your body telling you there's still things to do. There's still things that need to be quote unquote dealt with. If you're ready to go in and absolutely clear the slate and be done with all of that, to be done with everything and have the path before you that you know is meant for you. 
one of calm and comfort and abundance and flow. Let's chat. Come chat with me. And you know what? If I'm not the right person for you, I know a whole ton of people that might be just the right one for you to work with. And I would be happy to share those names and contact information and all of that with you. But let's have a talk. Let's see what maybe could change in your life. Are you ready for that? I hope so. So that's all I wanted to share. Just was something that came up in my time, in my thought process. And when I heard someone say that, oh, I've dealt with that. I, I had this total, total flashback to me saying that at one point. And yet I was so upset in that moment when I said it about a situation. I should have realized, well, you thought you dealt with it, but maybe there's still some stuff going on. And no, no, it's something else. It's not that that I'm emotional about, that I'm upset about, that my body or mind is reacting to. You can tell yourself that too, but I hope you won't. I hope you'll hear this today and maybe think about doing for you or encouraging someone else to do for themselves. And I hope, my friend, that you go into the week and have a great one. And that you meet me right here, same time, next week. Ciao. I hope today's episode was interesting and helpful to you in some way. If so, find someone to share it with. Maybe it will help them too. If you'd like to know more about anything discussed here today, you can find all the places to connect with me and the guest speakers in the show notes. Or go to lauraordeal.com. L-A-U-R-A-O-R-D-I-L-E dot com. And you can reach out to me there. Until next time, ask when you need help, be kind to yourself, and have a happy day.